What's going on, everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. And for today, I want to be talking about the experts at ESPN because it's it's been bothering me a little bit, and I'm pretty sure it's been bothering a lot of you Bulls fans. So I'm going to be touching on that a little bit. I just seen a tweet yesterday that ESPN has the Chicago Bulls finishing ninth in the Eastern Conference with a record of 40 and 42. And I just think that's crazy. It's like we already get slept on enough, but it's like ESPN is just taking it to a whole nother level. You know, uh, we've seen the different things they didn't say. We didn't seen um, what Nick Ferdell said and all the other experts saying they don't even see us making the play-in tournament and I'm like they don't pay attention to the Chicago Bulls it's crazy and like they don't understand if Zach Levine didn't catch COVID last um, season we would have been in the play-in or the playoffs and now we have a way better team this year than we had last year it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense how they're always trying to sleep on the Bulls. They 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 um they talk about well our trades was terrible. We gave away all our picks, but then we make another trade and we got a first round pick back. They don't want to recognize that. They're like, oh well, um, you guys' defense still sucks. They, you guys, they don't understand that the Bulls have terrific defensive players. You know, most of our top defensive players are coming off the bench. We have two studs in the starting lineup and Lonzo and Patrick Williams. I honestly feel like Zach Levine is going to be better. The only one who is an average to subpar defender at best is really DeMar DeRozan. Vucevic. He's an okay defender. He just doesn't block shots like that. I feel like people don't, they don't really pay attention to what we got going on over here in Chicago. They don't understand that we have players like Alex Caruso coming off the bench, uh, Troy Brown Jr., uh, uh, Derek Jones Jr. coming off the bench. Um, Javante Green plays defense. Uh, Tony Bradley, he can play some defense. Like, we have defenders. And so I just feel like ESPN, they just look for any and every reason to hate on the Bulls. Maybe it's just they're so used to it because we have been pretty bad the past. I don't know how many years. Maybe I feel like they hate our fan base because, you know, we're a strong fan base. They be like, all them Bulls, all them Bulls fans. I feel like I I feel like people like Nick Ferdell, he has a personal issue because he used to work for um, the Bulls as a writer. And his personal issue, I don't know if it's because he doesn't work here anymore, but he goes all the way up to the owner saying, well, Jerry and Michael Reinsdorf, they, I know how cheap they can be. Yeah, cheap or not, at the end of the day, they're not the ones making these Bulls moves right now. Uh, our tourist Karnasovas. And Mark Eversley, they're the ones making the moves. They're the ones spending the money. They're the ones getting ready to sign Zach to an extension. So, you know, I feel like, you know, they can just keep sleeping on us because at the end of the day, we're going to prove them wrong. I'm excited, you know, looking at these teams that they got above us. <clears throat> you know, I can see Brooklyn, obviously. I can see Milwaukee, obviously. I'm iffy, iffy on the Sixers just because they're not going to have Ben Simmons. And Joel Embiid can't stay healthy. He's an MVP caliber player, but he can't stay healthy. So that's iffy, but I'll throw them in there. I could throw Miami, you know, but Miami's, they, they're a little too Hollywood for me, but I'm going to throw them in there. But teams like the Hawks, Knicks, Celtics, and Hornets, you're telling me we can't be better than all four of those teams? I, I believe we could be better than the Heat and the Sixers, but definitely the Hawks, Knicks, Celtics, and Hornets. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's we can talk all we want to, but it's up to the Bulls players to prove it. I'm kind of glad they're saying all this stuff, counting us out, because 
It's just putting huge chips on everybody's shoulders. You know, we're kind of like robots. They're just planting these big chips in all the players' shoulders. So, you know, shout out to the ESPN with your dumb takes. You know, where we're coming, we're ready. And we're going to get it cracking. You know, um, subscribe to my page. You know, I got Bulls content coming every single day leading up to the season. Like this video, comment, how do you feel about the ESPN always sleeping on us, Nick Ferdell, and all the other writers always sleeping, you know, you know, we, we going to do it big, you know, so shout out to all the Bulls fans, and I'll see you guys in the next video.